solving equation with complex root. So let's take an equation which would end up with a complex root. So let's say z to the power 4 is equal to, say, negative i. You want to solve this. Now, as you know, this is a fourth power uh, equation. This has to have four roots. Let's understand what is minus i. Okay, so let me draw a diagram. This is, say, your imaginary arm, and this is your real arm. Okay, so, so this is your real arm, and here this is your imaginary arm. Say this is 1, and this is negative. So let me draw a circle. So I can be exact as possible. So... So this is a unit circle, and so if this is 1, this would be negative 1. This is the real arm, and if this is i, if this is i, this point would be negative i. So here the question is, if z to the power 4 is negative i, what, which are the roots here? Now to uh, solve uh, equation of this type, we need to write this in polar form. Okay, so minus i is, now this is the origin O, say so this is O the origin. Now if you want to describe r minus i or negative i in terms of, uh, in a polar form, what you say is, it's how far away from the origin. So well, so it's one, the distance of minus i from origin is one, and the angle it makes with the positive arm, this is one way of describing, you can describe it in two ways. So you can say this angle is 270. This is 270. And the distance, and this is what I'm talking about, the distance. So this is the distance. The distance, the distance from the origin is 1, and the angle it makes is 270. So minus i to write this in a polar form, so we can say z to the power of 4 is 1, I'll write 1, you don't need to write 1, it's understood 1 cis 270. Okay, this is 1 cis 2, you can also call this as 1 cis minus 90, okay, but uh, uh, this is by convention from the positive arm, it is 270, if you go anti-clockwise, and if you clock go clock, clockwise, it is minus 90. So now, <laughs> I want to find z, so I'm going to write, raise this, so I can say z to the power of 4 raised to 1 quarter is equal to 1 cis 270 raised to 1 quarter. So now here I'm going to use the Dimbois theorem, so power of power multiply, so you can say this is your first root, z1 would be 1 raised to 1 quarter cis 270 times 1 quarter. So what you do is, the Dimbois theorem says that you multiply the modulus, this is the modulus of the radial distance, by the power. So you multiply this by this, so 1 times 1 quarter is 1 quarter, and multiply the argument, this is the argument, by this power. Okay, so this is, so you can say z1, 1 raised to 1 quarter is 1, so this is 1 cis, 270 divided by 4. So let me use my calculator, that's 270 divided by 4, which is 67.5. So this is 67.5. So the first root is 6, 1 6, 67.5 degrees. Okay, now the other roots would be, you've got four roots, so we can say there are four roots, because it's a fourth power equation, so there are four roots, and each root would be at an angle of 360 divided by 4. 360 divided by 4, which is 90 degree. So other roots would be at an angle of 90 from this root. So directly you can say Z2, let me write properly. So Z2 would be, Z2 would be 1 cis 
67.5, so let me write 67.5 plus 90, which is how much? Okay, so let me do plus 90, which is 157.5. So this is 1, sis, 157.5. We'll come from the answers. Z4, sorry, Z3 would be 90 added to this. So this is 1, sis. 157.5 plus 90, so I'll directly write plus 90, equal 247.5. 247.5, and your Z4 would be 247.5 plus 90. So plus 90 is 337.5. So this is 1, sis, 337.5. You can write this in radians. Okay. So now to confirm your answer, let me confirm one answer. Suppose if Z2, so let me confirm one answer. You can do the rest yourself. If you want to confirm this answer. Okay, now let me explain before that. Suppose if you know that square root of phi, square root of 25 is plus or minus phi. Square root of phi is plus or minus phi. Why? Because if you square plus or minus phi, if you square it, you get 25. Okay. So basically, what have, what have we done? We have found the fourth root. Okay. Fourth root of negative i. Fourth root of negative i are these values. That is 1 says 157.5. That means if you raise this by 4, you should get minus i. So let's check that. So let's raise 1 says 157.5 raised to 4. So using again the Nimbal's theorem, so this will be 1 raised to 4, sis, 157.5 times 4. So 157.5 times 4 is 630. Okay. Now 630 is, can I say this is 1, sis, this is how much? 360. Uh, 360 uh, plus 360 is 720. So can I say this is 360 plus 270? This is 630 degree is 1 sis 360 plus 270. And 360 means it's, it's uh, it has done one rotation or revolution. So this is nothing but 1 sis 270. And 1 is 270 is minus i. Okay, so you can do the same thing. If you raise this by 4, you can check. Ultimately, you should get 1 is 270, which is minus i.